Hey, he's you know, only bit two people so far. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've been very proud of him. Good job. And we're all family. Don't worry, it's all right. No, just, he's a kid. Next we have Daniela Paris from Miami Central Father God, thank you so much for this time that you've given us, Father God. Thank you for the sermons that we're here before me, God. Thank you for the sermons that have come after me, God. God, I pray that each and every one of us that are speaking, God, that we be quiet, God, that you speak through us, Father God. Thank you for this time again. Thank you for allowing me to be here, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Okay. We all know what the Great Commission is, right? Right? If you don't, don't worry, I'll tell you. We're called to go everywhere. We can find this command in Matthew 28, 19. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now, imagine you're going on a trip. What's the first thing you need? First, you need a ticket. Your ticket tells you where you're going to go. It's your destination. Next, when you get to the airport, you need a passport. Your passport lets them know you're allowed to go where you're going. And lastly, when you board the airplane, you can't take everything you own with you. It won't fit. There are restrictions. With that in mind, let's look at Matthew 10, 7 through 10. As children, go, preach this message. The kingdom of heaven is near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Do not take, any, do not take along any gold or silver or copper in your belts. Take no bag for the journey, or extra tunic, or sandals, or a staff, for the worker is worth his keep. We see in Matthew 28, 19, that Jesus gives us a ticket. We have a ticket to go everywhere. Along with that ticket, we have a message. We see in verse 7 of chapter 10, that, our me that the message Jesus gave his disciples that we follow too, is the kingdom of heaven is near. We are called to go everywhere and tell everyone what Jesus did for us. We can't keep that a secret. We need the team. <coughs> Sorry. What gives us this authority? We have authority. Jesus gives us authority in verse 8 to heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, and drive out demons. That is crazy. That's the authority we need to walk in. We have the authority to go everywhere and preach what God wants us to preach. That's our passport. We're allowed to preach. And lastly, in the same way we have restrictions on the airplane, we have restrictions on our walk. In verses 9 and 10, Jesus didn't want them to take any bags, an extra tunic, no sandals, not even a staff. They weren't allowed to take any copper, silver, or gold. Why would Jesus restrict us like this? I'll tell you why. Jesus wants us to completely rely on him. On our journey, a lot of times we think of other things we can be doing. We don't, we don't want to do this. We're nervous. You know what? Trust in God. Give Him absolutely everything you own. Just give Him everything. Jesus is supposed to be our focus 24-7. In all of this, we see that Jesus gives us a ticket to go everywhere. And along with that ticket, He gives us a message. We see that Jesus gives us a passport, our authority. We're allowed to go everywhere. And lastly, he gives us restrictions so that we may learn to fully and completely rely on him. So, let us do what Matthew 28, 19 says. Go everywhere and preach the message of Jesus Christ. Thank you.